For almost 2,000 years, the smartest people on Earth believed the entire universe was filled with a mysterious, invisible substance. They gave it a name, built theories around it, and even created experiments to try and detect it. And then, one discovery destroyed everything. This is the story of the ether, the greatest scientific ghost in history. Welcome to the Discarded Hypothesis, where we explore the strange scientific theories the world threw away. Today's episode takes us to a time when scientists believed an invisible fluid flowed all around us, through space, even through our own bodies. In ancient Greece, Aristotle suggested that all space was filled with a fifth element called ether. It wasn't fire, air, water, or earth. It was the mysterious filler of the universe. Fast forward to the 1800s, and scientists needed a way to explain how light travels. They said, sound needs air. Ocean waves need water. So light must need something to travel through. Their solution? Ether an invisible substance that filled every corner of space. Two American physicists, Albert Michelson and Edward Morley, decided to prove ether was real. They built a huge, sensitive machine to detect it. Their logic was simple. If Earth is moving around the sun, it should be moving through the ether. And that motion should change the speed of light, just like wind changes the speed of sound. After months of testing, they found nothing. No change. No ether wind. It was as if the ether didn't exist at all. Scientists were shocked. Some refused to believe the results and tried tweaking the theory. Maybe ether moved with the earth? But every new experiment failed. Then, in 1905, Einstein appeared. He proposed the theory of relativity and simply removed ether from the equation. Light didn't need a substance to travel through. Space itself was enough. And just like that, 2,000 years of belief vanished. Ether never existed, but it wasn't a useless idea. It helped scientists build experiments, ask questions, and ultimately discover better truths. Sometimes even the wrong ideas move us forward. If you enjoyed this story, hit the like button and subscribe, because next episode we're diving into a scientist who convinced an entire country to follow a completely fake theory, and it led to national disaster.